Have you ever wondered if it's possible to buy a home in one state while living in another? It might be easier than you thought. I have three tips for buying a house out of state that you don't want to miss, so stay tuned. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am real estate agent Mark McClinchy. The best and easiest part of my job is introducing people to the amazing neighborhoods, sites, and people of the Pittsburgh region. If you are considering a move to Pittsburgh and want more information about buying a house long distance, be sure to subscribe to my channel and reach out by phone or email with any questions. I'll get back to you quicker than you might expect. One of the questions I often receive is, Mark, I currently live out of state and I'm considering buying a home in Pittsburgh. How does that work? So today, I'm gonna to share three great tips for buying a home out of state so you can be more informed and better prepared to take on this challenge with confidence and less worries. My first tip for buying a house out of state is to find a tech savvy agent that specializes in out of town buyers. You wanna choose a buyer's agent, totally free to you, that is working exclusively for your interests. You will need an agent that provides timely and succinct information through methods that work best for you, email, text, phone, video, or through an app. It's not unusual to start looking for homes and as you scroll through, you notice there are agents listed to help you. These agents pay thousands of advertising dollars to be placed there, but they may not know anything about the property, the neighborhood, or certainly your needs as an out-of-state buyer. Since you are not here in person, you need your agent to serve as your eyes and ears to provide you insider information about properties, neighborhoods, and school districts that you can't find on your own. Not only do you want immediate alerts to homes when, or even before, they hit the market, but you'll want your agent to provide virtual tours, both live and recorded, of homes and neighborhoods so you can get a feel if the home is a potential fit for your needs. Finally, choose a buyer agent that has strong relationships and connections with service providers that you will need during the home buying process. Most importantly, local mortgage lenders and the best home inspectors. Tip number two for buying a home in another state is to establish your search process with your agent. Once your agent knows your preferences for neighborhoods, school districts, size, style, price, etc., you'll need to establish a window of time for the earliest you could close on your house to the latest you'd be willing to close. Once that time frame is established, decide how often you want to plan trips to visit. Ideally, you would prefer to see homes in person, but that's not feasible if you're buying a house before relocating. To find a home, I suggest taking three steps. Step one, review information that is available online. Step two, have your agent tour the house on your behalf and send you a video or give you a live tour on Facebook or Zoom. In step three, plan strategic visits to your new city and only tour the top favorites so you don't waste your valuable time. In case you're wondering, it is possible to put an offer sight on scene and possibly include a contingency on viewing in person. Here in Pittsburgh, Homes in the most desirable areas do not last long and often receive multiple offers. Which brings me to my final piece of advice on how to buy a house out of state. Your goal is to buy the best possible house without spending a penny more than necessary. If you fall in love with a house that you want to make an offer on, there's a good chance someone else feels the same way. Once you are ready, you need to strike with a quick and strong offer. A strong offer that the seller will find attractive is not always the highest offer. My best advice especially for clients buying a house out of state, is to have your financing details ready to go before you start your home search. You can get a pre-qualification from any big national lender in just a few minutes. This is good enough to submit an offer, but if you want your offer to stand out, then you should get a pre-approval letter from a local mortgage expert. This will take a little more time, but once you have pre-approval, sellers can choose your offer with confidence and not worry if your mortgage application will fall through. Buying a home in one state while living in another can be challenging, but if you take my advice and follow my three tips, you will have a fantastic buying experience without stress or worry. Want more details about moving to Pittsburgh? Click on the link in the description below to receive a free Pittsburgh relocation guide. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another great video about real estate in Pittsburgh. See you next time.